Three things made me laugh recently. First, a group of racists used a censorship-free website called DLive to stream their members, shouting, go back to China, go back to China. I don't tell them, but the, the DLive streaming service is provided by this guy. Second, a lot of right-wingers in America have been silenced by social media platforms like Twitter and Parler. But they found freedom on a new message board run by the Epoch Times, which of course is a wacky cult from China. Third, a stock trading website called Robinhood blocked small investors and sold their shares to rich fund managers. Literally millions of furious people switched to a new stock trading website called Weeball, provided by a Chinese guy from Alibaba. So, here's what's funny. America's free speech and capitalism are being saved by people from China. Who'd have thought it? Life is strange. There's really nothing quite like it. See ya.